Thank you to all my members. I really appreciate that. If you want to become a member and help support the channel, just hit that join button. Y'all have a great day and thank you once again from the bottom of my heart. Are you looking for action figures? Then head over to The Chosen Prime. The link is in the description. Just follow that. And man, they got everything your heart desires. Transformers, 5-2 toys, Power Rangers, Turtles, Marvel, DC, statues, whatever you want. Just go over and follow that link, man. You can order everything you want. Just order. Just go over there and order. Well, hey there, everybody. How y'all doing? Hope everybody's having a wonderful day or night, and welcome back to my channel. As always, I'm Deluxe. All right, let's do another freaking Transformer review. Today, I'll be taking a look at a quick look at a studio series. This is Transformers Dark of the Moon Laserbeak. This is when Bumblebee, you know, or they show, you know, Laserbeak, you know, kind of, uh, you know, disguise himself as a pink Bumblebee. Uh, as you can see, you know, a little tea party with a little girl out there and everything. So he goes to kill off one of the uh, humans and all that stuff. So there you go. Core class, there he is on the back. Uh, 15 steps to transform. There you go. You got the GMC Q QR code, whatever that is. And there you go. You got the other side and then Dr. Dark Moon, all that stuff. All right, let's take a quick look at what he comes with. All right, first thing first, instructions. Awesome. All right, comes a little, you know, background like they always do. Uh, like I said, a little tea party right there. If you have somewhere to put that. Uh, he does come with a blaster, which is nicely painted. It's like silver, so that's cool. Over, uh, looks like kind of a pinkish plastic. So very nice. Got some nice sculpture in there. So pretty cool. All right. That's what he comes with. All right. Here is Laserbeak in his alt mode. Like I said, it's just Bumblebee, a recolor, uh, of the Camaro. Uh, you know, it looks all right. So there you go. You got the nice, uh, Chevy emblem right there in, in gold. Got some silver for the headlights and gunmetal silver or gray right there for that, for the grill and everything. Got some nice, uh, you know, really shiny black plaster right here. I, I don't understand why there's three, you know, there's four gigantic holes in there. So you can just see right down there. I don't, I, you know, I understand, you know, they, they do that to cut costs and everything, but golly. And you got this up here. Uh, you got the nice, uh, black tinted out windows, which I like. And then that nice, uh, black paint right there. Uh, rims don't look the same. I wish they wouldn't have done the pin right there. The, you know, this looks pretty cool. You know, the all blacked out tires or the rims and tires. I like that, but I uh, wish they would have done the same thing for the front. Uh, the back, they couldn't, you know, color out the uh, uh, tail lights. That's, you know, yeah. <laughs> they got this. All right. Then you got underneath, if you like to see that kind of thing. Uh, you do got weapon storage, which kind of looks goofy. Uh, you can tab it up here in this little slot right here. And yeah, you can have that. Uh, it rolls just fine. You know, it's a smooth surface. Now, I did, you can kind of shove it in here. There's a big old gap right here. So if you get it to the right spot, you can kind of shove it in here and it will, it will roll fine still. But, um, if you want to hide the, uh, weapon, you just got to find the sweet spot. And I'm not, I'm not finding it right now, <laughs> but you can find it if you do. If you, yeah. So you're going to let me get in there. Giggity. All right. I don't know. There's, like I said, there's a sweet spot you can find in there if you want to shove it in there. Uh, but anyways, there you go. Not much to it. There's uh, Laser Beak in his alt mode. And there's Siege Red Alert, Wheelie, and Magic Square Prowl for some scale.
All right, back transformation here is Core Class Laser Beak. Now, um, I was able to transform him without popping these things off. So the, the wheels or the, you know, whatever his, you know, the tires and the wheels and the arm, they're on these little nub things. These little, they're only, you know, on these little nub things and they will pop off constantly when you're trying to transform him back into car mode. So just be wary of that. It's a pain in the butt. But there he is. There is the... Nice head sculpt. I like the head sculpt. It looks pretty good. Nice silver paint. You got some nice, the red eyes, you know, kind of like, you know, evil. So that is nice. Once again, you got this nice black paint. Uh, and you got the big holes, which I don't understand, but you know, yeah, what it is, what it is. All right. Bunch of pink plastic. I like the chest. It looks good in front of the car. You do got a little sculpt work out there for the abdomen area. And you got some sculpt work out there for the legs too, as well, a little bit and the feet. And here is the back. Cleans up really good. Not really much of a backpack. All right, as far as articulation, uh, he can look down quite a bit. He could actually, oh, I'm taking a nap. Um, it's on a ball peg, so it's side to side. Nothing really up. Uh, the back part right here gets in the way uh, and gets you a little attitude as well. So, but I do like the head sculpt. Looks pretty good. All right, up to there, all the way around. Uh, you got about 90 degree elbow bend. It's on a ball peg, so swivel for your. Uh, bicep swivel, nothing for the hand. It is uh, fixed right there. It's all plastic right there. Uh, does he have a waist swivel? No waist swivel. Uh, Van Dam all day, every day. You can kick up. Not much back. This uh, back part gets in the way. A little wiggle waggle, but not much for a, uh, a thigh swivel. Uh, you do get eh, not 90 degree knee bend, but about right there. It is tight. Be careful. Uh, only thing you get is a toe tilt up. Uh, no rocker, a little wiggle waggle, but nothing like that. Nothing special. Uh, with the weapon, you can store it back here, just like you did in car mode. You just tab it in there like that. If you want to do that and he can hold it and he just kind of, kind of does the cover thing, you know, with the, uh, what Bumblebee does with that. So kind of looks like it's uh, covering his hand and all that stuff. So there you go. Pew, pew, pew awesome all right well not much to him there is core class laser beak in his bot mode there's tits mcgee retgar you got side swipe and then you got uh, core class optimus prime and g2 megatron for some scale and crapper gone crappy toilet paper car max triple a battery care bears kicker and squeaks for more scale All right, final thoughts on Core Class Dark of the Moon Laser Beak. Hey, he's fine. I mean, not definitely not one of my favorites of the Core Class. Love the car mode; looks really good. Hate that you know the four little big old uh, holes in the you know front of him. That looks you know stupid. The wheels. I wish they you know kind of matched up, but you know it is what it is. But I do like the paint. I love the uh, tinted uh, windows. Looks really good, and the pink doesn't look that bad on him as well. So yeah, very nice. And yeah, you can use a blast effect, and that's pretty cool. Bot mode, you know, it's fine. I love the head sculpt. It looks all right. Articulation's really lacking. Paint, it's okay. Uh, so overall, just not one of my favorites, but it's okay. But uh, hit me up some likes, shares, prayers, and care bears. Go ahead and hit that sub button for me if you don't mind. Hit me up some comments. Tell me we thought of the review. And I guess I'll see you in the next Transformer review. And as always, be good to yourself. Man, hell freaking Transformers and hell a paint bumblebee or laser beak. And good night, folks. Love y'all like step cousins. Road Tide.